berries, some sage and lavender to cleanse the area, three chimes to bring in positive energy, This is a general reading for the sign of Aries. If you have Aries anywhere in your birth chart, this is your reading. It is a general reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest. You know what is for you and what is not for you. I think that tarot readings are a wonderful time, are a wonderful way to practice using our intuition and practice using determining what it is that is for us and what is not for us. You know what is for you. Thank you, Spirit. Messages for the sign of Aries. Aries, if this is your first time tuning in, a little bit about the layout of this reading. When we are looking at this top row, this first row here, we are looking at your public life, your professional life, uh, your career, your work, um, the energy that is surrounding you in your public life. It might be public life, maybe we're just going to the store, or maybe how our neighbors are viewing us. Um, or maybe uh, experiences that we will have um, working with uh, public entities, public organizations. Thank you, Spirit. Messages for the sign of Aries. This second row, Aries, is your home life, uh, your private life, your personal life, um, family, close friends, Husbands, wives, children, um, love interest will show up there. And the final row, or this last row here, is final thoughts, final messages, final takeaway that Spirit would like you to take away from this reading. And the basis, the foundation of this reading is the Hierophant card. And the Hierophant is inner wisdom, inner knowing, driven by the harvest card, the gathering card. Separating ourselves from others, others' beliefs, others, people's thoughts, other people's morals are not our own. At times, we do need to separate ourselves from the beliefs of others. Well, that was interesting, Aries. Let's see how that plays into the rest of your reading this week. I don't know if I've ever had anything even similar to that. That is definitely unique. Finding your own place, determining your own value, determining your own worth, not based on that of others. A need to separate that aspect of your life. And we start off with the Five of Swords. This Five of Wands, I don't know why I was thinking of five, just five, five, five. And so we see the five here, we see the five here, and five in the tarot um, represents a change, represents a shift. And the five of Wands can represent conflict, but it's a perceived conflict or the practicing for the fight. It's almost like the pre-battle followed by the strength card, the gift of strength. Strength comes from conflict. Strength comes from change. 
Queen of Cups. Too much. Too much. Over stimulation. When we, when a situation becomes too much for us, we tend to withdraw. We may not withdraw physically, but we will withdraw emotionally. And that is followed by the Ace of Cups. Sometimes when we withdraw emotionally, we do so in order to fill our own cup. It's almost like if there's something that is very emotionally or very spiritually challenging that involves people, if we take a step back, we can fill our own cup. I think you're being asked to take a step back. And again, a it's about determining what is us and what is others. It's like there's a person or a situation that is causing a lot of emotional stress, a lot, a lot of emotional turmoil. And this is not being generated or not being caused by you. It's an outside source. It's something other than you. That spirit is asking you to take a step back from, to protect yourself, to fill your own cup. You will not be able to fill your own cup until you disconnect or separate yourself from this situation. And it's not necessarily uh, separating yourself physically, but more separating yourself um, emotionally, separating yourself spiritually. I think that there has been a long-standing project that has been demanding that you take action and demanding that you make a decision. And the trick of it here for you, Aries, is to ground your judgment in facts and be willing to compromise on the facts, but not compromise on entwining your feelings, entwining your emotions on that. It's, it's, it's almost like you're almost too emotionally attached to this situation too emotionally attached to these that you need to detach your feelings and base your decision on facts the more you're able to detach your feelings from this situation the greater the reward the greater the payout is going to be it's almost like you you're on overload and your um emotional overload or your thought overload is affecting your ability to make a decision based on facts. Take a step back. Guard your feelings. Guard your thoughts. And look at the facts. 
and that is followed by the King of Swords, Agreements, followed by the Ace of Swords, Knowledge and Wisdom, Page of Swords, wanting to follow our passions, wanting to follow our desires, followed by the Eight of Cups, moving on to higher ground, moving on to the unknown, taking steps into the unknown. Aries, it is, I'm surprised I didn't see the three of swords here for you. When our heart is breaking, when we are feeling, or if we are thinking, that we're not good enough. It's important that we each know and understand we are good enough. We are deserving, each of us, in our own right. And if someone is making us feel like we are not good enough. It is up to us to question our own beliefs, Aries. We can unwittingly project our people unwillingly or sometimes even willingly project their own unworthiness on us and many times they will do that by showing disapproval and it's important that if we are feeling or experiencing disapproval that we do not reflect that on others. But I think in this situation, there is someone reflecting their own disapproval our feelings of unworthiness towards onto you. It's not you. And it's important that we have or we create an environment that is non judgmental and allows everyone to be who they are and express who they are. That environment that non-judgmental environment is a gift that we can give ourselves and also a gift that we can give others. The Ace of Wands, again, strength, passion, fire, a gift, 
bringing life back into a situation and a new something hidden reveals passions and desires are really motivating you at this time Aries and it is important that we do not let our desires hijack what it is that we would really like. And so it's almost like sometimes we can become blinded by our desires. And we can become blinded by our passions. And we can let that hijack us or steer us away from our life's purpose, our life's mission. I think that it's really important, Aries, that we stay grounded at this time. And a good way to stay grounded is to practice meditation and practice mindful breathing in order to stay grounded and not be veered off of track by our desires. And that is the message that I have for the sign of Aries. Thank you, Aries. You have a blessed week.